All right, so I've set up another match. This time it's Leela versus Stockfish 10. Leela's playing white, Stockfish is black. It's three minutes each with a two second increment. Now let's see what's gonna happen. Now I've done this game multiple times before and Stockfish usually likes to play the French. I feel like a lot of engines seem to do that. I don't know why. I'm not sure if it's the strongest or not. So again, we saw Leela play this against Fritz actually and here she played d4 it was knight f6 and then bishop g5 so let's see bishop g5 again yep I wonder if we get the same variation where bishop e7 was played by Fritz and now e5 potentially interesting so after knight f d7 Leela likes to play h4 here at least this version does no takes a bishop this time okay how bizarre. Maybe with more time she would have played it. The last game had four minutes. So instead we've got F4 castles. Okay, so white's gonna launch a king's side attack. And now C5 is the obvious move. Um, okay, I wonder if C4 we played. Push the bishop back. Or keep the tension. Maybe it's knight C6. That was quite nice. H6 is also good. Getting rid of any of these Greek gift sacrifices where bishop takes an h7. Okay, so queen d2. I don't know, I'd, I'd be really tempted to play c4. Okay, so going for a6 and maybe b5. This looks so dangerous to castle into, I don't think she should do it. Okay, it's very cramped now. So bishop e2. And now b5. I just think black looks better. Or am I wrong? Maybe g4. This, will be, this is an intense game. Okay, so g4? Okay, knight c6 maybe? God. So, white's attacking on the king's side, black's attacking on the queen's side. It's just dependent on who's going to open the lines up first, really. So both rooks are now on these amazing G and H files, eyeing up the king on G8. So what's black going to do? Maybe knight A4 or B4. It's gone for B4, and now knight to D1. So white blinks first. Oh, C3. Is that good? So if B takes C3, B takes C3. Leela just moves a queen, so I'm guessing after C takes B2, maybe King B1, I'll just take it with Knight. So maybe just Knight takes B2 here. Yeah, okay. And now maybe A5 for Black. The time's reasonable at the moment, so 2 minutes for Leela, 1 minute 40-ish for Stockfish. So yeah, black's doing the correct thing here. Oh, G3, G6 though, Ooh, monster of move. So how does Stockfish deal with this? Plays B3, and C takes B3, interesting, I guess. So bishops are out now. Just depends how Leela can follow this attack up. F5. So queen a3 attacking on a2, so surely king b1 is forced, and rook c8 is coming in. Nope, just ignores it. I doubt any human player would do that. Oh, What? Knight a4? Oh, so the bishop's hanging on e2. What is going on? Queen takes h5, defends... No, it doesn't defend the knight on f3, it just takes it. Okay, so queen takes g6, now queen g7 is threatened, so rook f7 protects it. And now it's white's move, where did Lima go? Queen takes e6, so the rook's pinned, there's no rook c7, but now knight bd7 and takes it, check. So, that just lo so they just sat to rook, <laughs> as you do, rook g1 check. 
So is this just perpetual? No. Queen H4. Has White just gone into the perpetual here? Is this a draw? God, what a crazy game. Maybe Rook G8? Or E6? E6. Okay, good. We don't want perpetuals. We want, we want to decisive. So Bishop takes F3. Right, so E takes F7. Yep. And King takes. Queen H7, most likely. And what happens after Rook? Rook G8, Knight F8. Okay. So Knight F8 is forced. Queen G6, because the Knight's pinned, I'm guessing. Now we might get into a drawn position, I guess. So White is a piece down. So Leela might just can, can check the uh, Black King here. Could be a draw. Queen G6. Looks like a draw to me. Let's just have a... I think if Queen G6 it's a draw, yep. Yeah, so interesting game. So Leela as white and Stockfish as black uh, drew the first game. So in this Leela is now black and Stockfish is playing white, e4. And another French, wow. I wonder if they'll play anything different. So d4. So let's see if they play the same, d5. Is knight c3 like the meta here? Is that, oh, so they've got knight d2 this time. I wonder what Leo will play, so she plays c5. And if knight g f3? I guess knight f6 now. Could be a normal standard French move. Maybe e5 and knight d7. So maybe c3 here, knight c6. A typical French position really. Where black wants to get rid of the bishop on c8, really, to with the uh, bishop on f1. The white square bishop is no friend of black here. So, yeah, bishop d3, queen b6, maybe castles and bishop e7. So it takes. Black just can't castle into the king side as of yet because bishop takes h7 would. Be disastrous. Okay, knight takes d4. So is Leela just giving up another pawn? She sure likes doing that, giving up these pawns. Gosh, I can't believe this is... So the queen's attacked, so bishop e3. So white's just lost the d4 pawn. Deliberately. I guess black's not castled yet. I mean, look at I guess the compensation is that black has a terrible position, really, peace wise. So Stockfish sacked the pawn on d4, and now Leela is trying to gain some development. So here the pawn might be given back if Bishop takes e4. Unless Stockfish plays Bishop to e3. Leela plays Queen C7 and Rook C1 from Stockfish. Okay. Yeah, White's position does look quite good. All these pieces are out. Knight takes D1. Rook takes C7. Knight takes E3. Takes. So the pawns are doubled. So Knight takes E3. F takes, and then. Yeah, rook b8 to protect the pawn, or bishop, yeah, rook b8, because the bishop c6 loses to b5. And black has the two bishops, and Leela looks like she's doing fairly well. Interesting. f5 is forced. Rook takes d7. 
Oh, why is that good? So bishop b5 check. So why not king e7 instead? What was... So we just give it up a pawn, but why? So bishop d7, now a5. So takes, takes, and I guess black's trying to get a pass pawn with b5. So takes. Okay, so white's got a4 after this to stop that. So we need to keep that pawn really, I would imagine. Yeah, a4, maybe just g6. And maybe bishop h6. Or bishop. Yeah, g6 to protect the f5 pawn. Yeah. Now what's Stockfish got up its sleeve? Rook d1 maybe to attack the d5 pawn? All these pawns are quite weak. Okay, king f2 first. Okay, it's just to protect the e3 pawn. Okay, developing the bishop, stopping it, the rook from getting to the c file, but now b, rook b1. And now rook to e8, trying to give back the exchange. I don't know what white will do though. Check first. I think Stockfish is winning. King takes a4. Looks like Stockfish is just playing with Leela at the moment. Rook takes b7, check. Okay, now what? Okay, 7. So king b5? b4, sorry? King b4. Now it's now Stockfish takes. Recaptures, and now where does Stockfish go? Knight to d4. Okay, so if Rook... Can't take on e5 due to knight c6 check. Maybe just rook takes h7. Oh, no, yeah, rook b7 instead, actually. So rook b7, now take on h7. Okay, so he's going after the d5 pawn instead. So maybe rook d8, but then comes e6. I don't see how black survives this. Looks like it's game over for Leela. Yeah, e6. Yeah, this pass pawn's too quite strong. I don't know. So e takes f4, bishop takes f4, and then just rook d5. I wonder if. I don't think black can hold on. Just check first. Rook b6. Okay, no, knight b4 is a threat here. So I'm guessing, oh, g3, okay. So we are even on material here, but I feel like white has just got the edge. So Peace is much more coordinated, and look at the black king on a2, it's just terrible. Stockfish has slightly more time. Okay, so check, take on d5. And then e7 comes. So we're just going to recapture. I wonder if black can hold on actually. Oh, so he's threatening mate on b1. Uh, rook takes e7, check. So rook e1, maybe?
And now checkmate's threatened on a6. So bishop c7. Yep, so that was game set and match. Looks like Leela loses to Stockfish 10. What an incredible two games. I'll post the um, annotations in the description if you want to go through the games. But that was uh, some crazy French games right there. Uh, I'll um, do some more engine matches in the future because I think they're quite interesting. And hopefully we don't get so many Frenches in the future. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.